So to begin with, are, are you guys like the new Scooby gang? Is this like the mystery show? Is this kind of what, what's going on? Yeah, pretty much. I'm the pretty boy and he's Scooby-Doo. <laughs> the Scrappy-Doo. Look at him. Look at him. I'd be more Scrappy. Mm, come on. Come on. Um, I, guess, I, I guess you could say I, that. Yeah, I think we have an element of that. I mean, I think we have an element of that for sure. Um, I wouldn't say there's uh, there's that quirkiness, really. I mean, I, I'm, I, I would be the quirkiest one, I think, out of everyone. I'm a little, a little wacky and... Uh, no talking dogs. No talking dogs, though. No, no, I'm trying for, I'm pulling for second season to get a talking dog, though, or a parrot or something. Yeah, I haven't, I haven't gone that far, but there is, there is definitely a lot of that. Uh, it's mystery. a sense of mystery. You know? yeah, so Are you guys kind of like, I mean, I know you're in this prep school, but it's just sort of, you sort of become a team that wants to find out what's going on and solve yeah, the mystery we, of why you're there? We all kind of link up, and we all realize that we're, you know, we're, we were scared. We, we get forced to go to the school. We have no idea where we're at. Uh, we're young, you know, we're like 14, I mean, we're 15 years old. And uh, our parents, uh, we, don't, we haven't talked to our parents. We don't know if they know that we're there. Um, and, and we're freaking out. We don't know any of these people. We don't know where we're at. We could be, we could be on a different planet for all we know. Um, so yeah, yeah, we're freaking out and we all realize that we all want to get out. Um, so we form this little alliance, if you will. And, uh, and, and we, start, we start plotting and we try to figure out a way to get out. And uh, it, we, we find out that it's not as easy as we think it would be. Yeah. And I understand each one of you sort of has your own skill set. Can you tell me a little bit about that and what your skills are? Absolutely. Um, my character, Ian, um, he has what is called uh, preflex. And the best way to describe it to you is kind of like a, a spider sense, spidey sense from, uh, from Spider-Man. It's like he just can, he has the ability to be, just be able to see and kind of react to things on just maybe like a split second before they happen. Um, so it's fun. Yeah, it's fun to play around with. That must come in handy when you're fighting. If you're, Are there some fight scenes that you have to That do? comes in... Um, that that makes him, you know, uh, an expert martial artist. That that was kind of his passion growing up. Um, yeah, and you're a martial artist. Yeah, up, so and pretty much oh, it works. Actually, you were as well, or you're the character. Oh, okay. That's really, yeah, no, I did. Uh, you know, I did. I did the karate, the typical kid stuff. But um, yeah, no, th his preflex helps him kind of, you know, excel in in martial arts and uh, that whole world. So. Helps the team. As yeah, they go on exactly. through things, yeah. And what, what, what's your character's uh, skill? Uh, hiding behind Ian. <laughs> no, no. Um, and just to touch base on the skills too is, uh, you know, we we don't want to confuse people. There's not, we don't have superpowers either. Uh, they're they're we call them abilities, special abilities that were given to us, uh, you know, at birth. Um, and they're they're basically things that we'd like to say it's it's like X Men, but brought down to the realistic level, brought down and grounded. Um, and uh, and mine would be uh, I have a thing called hypersuasion, which is which is actually a thing. I read a, an article in, in Time magazine. Uh, about I think it was January this year uh, about things uh, hypersuasion, which is like kind of people use in subliminal messages and, and, and advertising um, and basically it's 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 a way of some people using their voice it could be a hypnotism it's um it's getting what you want it's a mind control basically it's it's knowing what a certain person wants to hear and kind of manipulating it to the point where they'll believe you you know and getting what you want out of it. Well, that must come in pretty handy. As a, on the show, and then is there ever anything on any episodes you shot where, like, maybe you use that against your, own, you know, it's to your own advantage? I, you know, I don't want to without giving too much away. Yes, yes. There, there's definitely parts. There's definitely episodes where I might, I might try to hyper persuade Ian, and I might, and he may or may not punch me in the face. <laughs> is it cut and dry that you're all the good guys, or are we? Is there some mystery to that? And, Listen, uh, you, you don't know. You never know. Uh, it, it gets to a point sometimes where, you know, because the bottom line is we don't know whether or not we can trust each other. But we have to because we know it's the only way that we may survive this, this whole experience at our school. I'm, I'm kind of uh, the new guy uh, to the group. I come in and, uh, you know, kind of start things up. They don't know, like, you know, why, why should we trust this guy? You know what I mean? So we kind of follow your character yeah. as we're introduced to the show. Exactly, and I'm kind of bent on, you know, getting out you know what I mean why why am I at this place you know uh, it's pretty much with or without us too yeah at first it's like it's like kind of just like I'm, I'm on my way and if you guys are on board we can do this together if not get out of the way yeah. you know and then he falls in love with me and it's this whole <laughs> weird twist it's the, the bromance going on it's, it's a little weird at first but you'll get used to it 
And then finally, I just want to ask about like, what's the adversary? What's the like? Are there weekly villains? Are there like, what's the kind of, or is there like a sort of a conspiracy that you're working against? There's there's a couple of things. I mean, there's the things that have been in the school for quite a while that we that we you know we've just kind of been introduced to as because we're like freshmen at the school. So there's a you know there's fraternities at the school that we kind of come across. I would say yes, there's a weekly villains, but there are also the ones that you see every episode that you kind of come back every episode because you want to see that 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 relationship and that climax build um, uh, so yeah there's there's definitely things there's a little there's a little some there's some weird stuff going on between you know us and and the headmaster of the school uh, and uh, and that's that's an exciting thing to come back every week to watch because it, it, it kind of builds up and you don't know whether this guy's a good guy or is a bad guy or if he's you know just kind of being a principal there's some there's some mythology to the show that we'll we'll get to learn absolutely yeah absolutely I mean it's pretty laid out for you and and you know you'll pick up on certain things and certain nuances and and, and it's cool yeah it's a cool little it's a cool little dig I'm excited yeah. to be on the show yeah well finally I just want to ask like how does it feel to be the first live action show on Cartoon Network it's exciting but it's scary it's scary you know I, I I'm such a huge Cartoon Network fan I mean I grew up watching Cartoon Network and. Uh, and and I'm I, I if I wasn't on this show I would probably be one of the one of the people out in the audience asking questions and and I'm a little I mean I'm a ner I'm nervous because I don't want I don't want to you know offend anyone I don't want to to you know make anyone feel like we're changing the network at all um, but you know I think it's cool I think it's cool that we might be we might be part of history you know I, and I and I'm do I'm totally for the cartoons on the sh on the network because it's it is the Cartoon Network after after all um, but I think if they give it a chance they're gonna you know the the audience will love it. They'll, they'll really will. Yeah, for sure. I mean, it's 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 cool because it's just cool to be able to say that you know you're a part of of history for Cartoon Network. And uh, but at the same time, Cartoon Network fans are very, you know, they're very loyal and they're very diehard and they love they love the cartoons. You know Absolutely. what I mean? Because I could say that our, uh, myself. You know, Ryan and I, we both were just talking. We grew up on Cartoon Network. Absolutely. You know what I mean? And so it's like you know to make that transition from what you know and what you've grown up with, and then all of a sudden there's these these human beings, you know, these actors, you know, and they're trying to take over the, the, uh, yeah, the that, scene here. It's, it's, it's hard. It's hard because I remember when I first went out on it, on the audition for this show, I was like, oh, come on. You're going to put a live action show on Cartoon Network. I was one of those people. I was one of those people, but maybe I'm a little biased now being on the show and seeing what we do every week, the stunts and, 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 you know, the, 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 the dialogue that comes along with it. And, and just working with Paul. I mean, Paul is just, he's a genius. Paul and Glenn Mil Morgan are just they're, they're, they're above it all. I mean, they're crazy. They're crazy. And the ideas that they come up with is just, it's absurd. It's absurd. And, and, and I promise you if, you, if you give it a chance, you will love the show.